Okay, so I want to show you how to transfer the pattern onto the hoop. So, let's open. What you need to do is get your embroidery hoop, place it over the top of the pattern, and then just draw around around the inside of the hoop. Okay. And we're going to cut it out. And if you just go slightly smaller than the circle that you've drawn, just within there. Okay, so what we need to do next is get your fabric on your hoop. Just unscrew. Screw the screw. Place it over. Small hoop. Make sure you press the top hoop down, and then we're just going to tighten it up. Now, for this, you don't need to make sure that it's all completely taut because we're actually going to take it back out again. Okay. There we go. So you're going to place the pattern face down on the front side of the hoop. And you can either use tape or double-sided tape, just something to secure it in place. Because what we're going to do is draw on the other side of the fabric. And we just want to make sure that this doesn't move. Okay, so you can just see it there. So at this point, you can either lean it up against... A window or if you've got a light that you can put behind it so that's a bit easier to see but I can see quite well through the fabric anyway so you need to take your heat erasable pen and just trace through the fabric now I find it's quite helpful to have a picture of what your copying just so that you can get some of the finer details so if you just make sure that you do do it really really lightly and you want to try and make sure that your lines are kept really thin because ideally we want to be able to stitch right over the top of all of these lines so that they can't be seen they are heat erasable, however, you want to make sure that um, you're covering it because under certain circumstances, um, so if the temperature changes and it gets um, really cold, then it can mean that you get a ghost line, which obviously isn't ideal.
Okay, so once you've finished transferring the doodle, you can just peel that off. And we're actually gonna take the fabric out of the hoop. So just unscrew the screw there and we're just going to flip the fabric over. Okay, so just make sure you've got it in the middle, you're happy with how it's placed. I think that's probably about right. Um, you can move it about at the end because we've got this extra bit of fabric here, so if you just place the larger hoop over the small hoop like we did earlier and we're just going to tighten that screw. Okay so now it's really important that the fabric's really taut now because this is the final bit of preparation before we actually start stitching so we need to make sure that we've got it as tight as a drum so to do that you just keep tightening that screw and then pulling the fabric all the way around to make sure that it's nice and taut. Okay. We'll just do that two or three times until we're happy that it's as tight, tight as we can get it. And let's go. go so this is now ready for you to start stitching